Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. Um, I'm so flattered that there's so many of us here today, but it's making it kind of hard to find my... Um... Where's Gina and Pride Live? Here we go. I see it. I figured it out. You guys know. Did it work? Nope. I'll just answer some questions until I see the request. Nope. Hi guys. Greetings from Texas. Hi Texas. How's it going down there? Hi from Denmark. Hi Denmark. Hi from the UK. Love it. I think I see a Brazilian flag. Hi, Brazil. Singapore. Hi. Oh, can they not hear me? Can you guys hear me? Hi. <laughs> I think I'm technologically challenged. I, I'm no, just... I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, where is it? I'm Here I am. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. So good to be here with you. Oh, good. Yeah. It's, glad. it's good to we see you We are getting again. close. Yeah. I know. It's almost time. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's going to be so fun. I mean, this event, I just think it's like, finally, we get to all sort of have a community feel again, even though we have to be social distanced, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But I think that'll be really nice. Just all throughout. I mean, just the yeah. excitement of, I mean, I'm seeing all friends from like, I can't wait for this. I am going, can't wait to see you. Yay. But it's, it's. I love that. Such a, uh, just excited to do this with you all, you know? Yeah. I think it's going to be Here we are. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> it's going to be great. Um, I, I, and for those of you that don't, that ha haven't been keeping up with this, we are talking about Stonewall Day, which uh, uh, my Feel Something Foundation has partnered with um, Stonewall Day and Pride Live um, and Out Loud. And it's going to be one big three day <laughs> festival event in Los Angeles uh, at a stadium, which is amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, if you, if you need tickets, you can go to Ticketmaster. They're on sale now. And also the whole thing is going to be broadcast live on Twitch exclusively. So check that out. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is Gina. Gina and I have spoken before. We're very excited <laughs> to be back on the line. Um, I think, um, I, you know, it, it's gonna be at the LA Coliseum, which is like huge. I, I'm like thrilled. I mean, besides the people that you're gonna see there, like what else are you looking forward to? I mean, I mean, you mentioned, uh, you alluded to it, the community, right? I mean, for me personally, this is my first live event that I'm, you know, going to after, you know, the, the year that we've had, like the first yeah. big event I'm going to, I'm flying into LA. Yeah. I can't wait to see people getting my outfit ready, but more so, you know, it's- <laughs> Well, actually, that's probably the most important part. What are you wearing? <laughs> you know, something like with skin, something yeah. like a little- Cinch here and there, you, you know. know, it's sunny California. Give us a something little sunshine. with pop of color, you know. So, always a pop of color, yeah. All of those <laughs> things. Um, but just excited to be with everybody, you know. It really has been quite a journey because I mean, I personally, I mean, I'm, I'm an executive producer of, of, um, of this year's event, mm. but I started with Pride Live in 2019 as one of the ambassadors, but I mean, for me personally, I was born and raised in the Philippines. And in 2019, the 50th anniversary of Stonewall, right? That, that legacy uh, and what had happened and where, where we are now, right now. Yeah. And to be part of that. And I remember uh, hosting an event inside um, the Stonewall. And, um, and it was just like a, a moving moment for me as a, as a proud, trans person, immigrant, born and raised in the Philippines who have heard of, of this revolution, right? Like, because 
Stonewall, yes, it happened in, in, in America, but it, the reverberation of that and the effect of that is global. Mm. You know? And then obviously last year, 2020, I mean, we started with this big plan, but then the pandemic happened and then mm. the team got together and say, you know, how do we first keep what we've done you know, and, and do something bigger with it. But at the yeah. same time, really um, focus on the people on the ground, which is last year, that's when we first started doing, you know, let's focus on trans-led, trans people of color-led organizations. And that's what we were able to do. We were able to raise lots of money, even, you know, at, at, such, a, at such a space where we have this, the tight schedule that we have to make, but we, we made it happen. Yay. And obviously this year, it's even <laughs> going to be bigger. And and just to obviously, you know, this is not in New York City, it's in Los Angeles, but I think it, it speaks to what um, the legacy of Stonewall is, which is we'll take it to the next place yeah. and, and sort of create this different iteration to it. And obviously the partnership with you and Feel Good Foundation, you know, it's, it's just wonderful. And, and besides obviously the pandemic being such a factor, what do you see as sort of like the biggest change from 2019 to now within the community? You know, I, I'd say, you know, as a trans person of color, you know, the, the importance in centering those narratives, not yeah. just the sort of people that we're inviting, but also I'm, me as an executive producer, having, uh, I'm a producer myself and other ventures that I'm doing, but having, knowing that, there's people, uh, power in the room that yeah. where that voice is represented, whether it's these are the folks that maybe we should be looking at, include more, um, you know, obviously trans inclusion and voices and obviously with, with a big concert. And also at the same time, you know, this year specifically, we're focusing in two black trans led organization, trans tech and trans slash. They're doing groundbreaking work. On, on, on whether it's uh, access to technology to work, but at the same time, the type of representation that I'm talking about with Translash and the work, the work that they're doing. Amazing. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like the movement is like really gaining so much momentum right now. And I've always said over and over again that we are one community. I mean, there's different aspects to the community and different elements and different members of the community need certain uh, support at different times. But right now I feel like the whole community needs to get behind the trans movement. Um, you know, we all need to be one big harmonious voice, especially when you consider some of the opposition that's coming at the community right now. Girl. So I, I really feel like, <laughs> girl, <laughs> I feel like we have to like band together and the sense of community is more important now than ever. And then all, I mean, first of all, to see the, I work a lot with trans youth and it really touched a nerve when I mean, all of these things that are happening. And this is why, wow. you know, seeing you, seeing folks like you, seeing um, Kim Petras will be there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and for so her excited. to be there and uh, my dear sister, um, Angel Bonilla will be there and other folks that will be there that are, th th those trans voices that are centered, Angelica Ross, yeah. Imara yeah. Jones, you know, and, and to see that, and again, I believe M just, MJ Rodriguez, I think, is a part of it. Absolutely, too. And, yeah. And for, for especially for trans youth all over the world, trans youth of color, to see that that they're centered, that we are centered. Yeah, it makes such a big difference, especially in a time where their identities, particularly at such a young age, are being attacked on an yeah. already vulnerable community. I mean, I remember, Absolutely. you know, I, I could just imagine when I was lucky to have, have the support of my family, but certainly outside of the family unit, it's always so difficult. So mm. I, I, I empathize and I could imagine, you know, the difficulty that they're seeing when they're being attacked by institutions that's supposed to protect them and supposed to yeah. work for them. But, you know, I think what we're doing with Pride Live in this concert is a it will play such a big role in that in making sure that their voices are heard. Yay, and celebrated. Yeah, I love that. I I'm, so, I'm so excited. I think it's just <laughs> going to be like the best weekend. I, I, mean, I have a question for you. I mean, like, yeah. I know you curated, um, you know, the, the, the event. Like, what, what's your process in, 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 that, in, in, in that curation? I just started brainstorming, really, and writing people. You know, I, I'm always like, checking out what everyone's doing on social media, like other artists, other performers and visual artists and talents. And I'm, I'm such a fan of everybody, <laughs> you know what I mean? 
And I think, you know, when I got into this business, uh, the music business 10 years ago, it was such a different landscape. It was, you know, for mainstream music, there, it was like the wild, wild west. There was just <laughs> not a lot of other out queer people um, that were, you know, doing the scene, doing the circuit. And we had our, our icons like Elton John, for example, but that's a different category. So anybody that was like in the radio game and the label system and all this stuff, it was like, there was no blueprint. And yeah. it, was, it was definitely an adventure. Um, at yeah. times it was challenging, at times it was scary, at times it was awesome. Um, and so now what I'm so excited about is I think the landscape is completely different. You're yeah. seeing more and more queer artists come up who are doing amazing work, who are creating amazing music, um, and who are representing their, their personalities and their identities. And, and what we're, I think what we're doing so well now is that it's not just one type of queer person. We're seeing, we're starting to see yeah. the, the, all the different identities represented and the diversity. Well, the thing that you're saying about seeing more, because it's a concert, do we get the preview a little bit of like what you're... <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm actually really excited to sing with Kim Petrus. Um, she's going to come on and we're going to do uh, some singing together, which is really exciting. Ooh. I've been a fan of hers for a really long time. I think she, she's got a great voice. And then some of the other people that I involved in there, you know, with the Feel Something Foundation, last year we did a thing, um, like sort of a roundtable symposium, uh, right. talking about being a musician in the industry, being queer. And it was great. And everyone, you know, got to share a little bit of their story and sort of their experience. And this is sort of an extension of that, getting to put together a bill of, of queer performers. Mm -hmm. And I have to say the other thing that I'm kind of excited about is, you know, as much as I love our, our big pop star allies, um, you know, I think they're amazing. Uh, we all have our, our favorite divas that we love. But what I think is really different about this event this year is that it's really queer led. It is everybody on that bill identifies as a queer person legitimately. And I think that's really exciting. I think in 2021, you know, we, we can do this on our own, I you know? <laughs> I, I like that. I think that's really exciting. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> well, I think that we have to, um, I want to invite Frankie Grande, who has been so generous to, to come on and chat with us. Um, I, let me, I'm, I'm looking at my instructions. Look, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> you got this. Well, I thank you for having me, my dear. I cannot wait to see you. We're going to I can't wait to see a pop of fun. color. Um, <laughs> and and the skin, skin situation. So. Touch this skin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm so darling. excited to meet in person. It's going to yes. be wonderful. Um, thanks again for letting me be a part of this. Um, I think that we're going to, we're going to make a lot of people really happy next weekend. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited. It's coming up. It's yeah. over here. All right. I know it's almost here. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, love. Thank you so much for talking with us. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. I'm going to invite Mr. Frankie Grande. Let me find him in the, uh, <laughs> in the chat thing. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm bad at this. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I have to request him. Here we go. Send request. Um, while we're waiting for him to join, I just want to let you guys know that for the actual live event, um, there are some health and safety uh, protocols. Um, everyone's going to have their temperature checked on arrival. Um, masks are required in all sections. Vaccinated sections will be seated at full capacity and then unvaccinated se uh, sections will be socially distanced. Cool. Um, the Coliseum will be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized throughout the, the event, throughout the weekend. So it should be a very safe environment. Um, uh, everyone has the freedom of getting vaccinated or not, but if you do get vaccinated, we don't have to, you know, distance ourselves. We can really dance, <laughs> which should be fun. Um, I'm still waiting for Frankie. Where is Frankie? Frankie Grande, where are you? Frankie Grande, where are you? Let's see. Um, I'm so excited that we got to talk to Gina. I'm saying, saying we, like I'm talking for all of you, but I'm so excited I got to talk to Gina with all of you here. 
um, this this event is is sort of the first of its kind on this level. I mean, we um, I was really lucky to partner with Stonewall Day um, and Pride Live, and then Pride Live partnered up with Out uh, What does that mean? Out Loud, um, which is a concert series that's been going on for a while, and it's really cool. Um, combining our forces, so to speak. And the fact that Stonewall Day is usually in New York, but because of COVID and everything, um, when it was being planned, we decided LA would be, um, a, provide us a little more freedom uh, to do this concert. Where is Frankie? Am I doing this wrong? <laughs> see all, oh, see all. See, this is probably why. Frankie, I, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you. Well, I'm very flattered all of you are trying to uh, say hello and request a chat. It just means that I can't find Frankie. Hmm. Well. Hmm, I can answer some questions. J Web Music asks, love the jacket, new tune soon. Uh, thank you, this is, this is a little Gucci number. Uh, and new tunes, yes, I've been writing music for a musical actually, which I'm really excited about and that's coming along really well. Um, I've been doing stuff over the pandemic. I was doing writing sessions over Zoom, I've done a couple out here while I've been here in London. Uh, and I'm heading back to Los Angeles this weekend and work will continue. It's very exciting. Um, can't wait to reveal more about it when the time's right. Um, maybe I'll just cover since I can't find Frankie anywhere. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look one more time. I'm not seeing you, Frankie. Maybe he's having the same technical difficulties I was having. Because, yes, there have been few for me. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to go over some other things with you guys while I'm um, talking to you. Um, uh, if you want to find out anything more about the event, go to weareoutloud.com, and there's more info there. Um, uh, buying tickets, you can do that on Ticketmaster. Very easy. They're on sale now. Uh, follow at official. What does that say? <laughs> oh, uh, follow officially out loud uh, and at Pride Live official for updates. Um, that's at officially out loud and at Pride Live Official. Um, also Twitch, twitch.tv backslash officially out loud will be our web address for the broadcast. That's, ex that's a, an exclusive broadcast on Twitch. Um, so for those of you who can't come to the actual Coliseum in LA, please tune in online. It'll be really fun to have everybody watching. Um, there's gonna be an amazing, oh, there's Frankie Grande. Where are you, Frankie? He said hi in the thing, but how do I? <laughs> this is a disaster for me. <laughs> uh, I'm on my account now. Yeah, Frankie, can you do a request? Oh, the other one didn't work. Can you request a... Uh, hmm. Let's see all. Oh. I'll try to send an a request to you one more time. <laughs> Frankie. Uh, let's see if this works. 
Okay, we'll try this one more time. <laughs> There Hi! he is! Hi! Oh my goodness. I have been running upstairs, running downstairs, <laughs> trying to find different rooms in my house with different Wi Fi and internet. Oh, no. we, we ended up in the kitchen, but I, I have no idea why. But for some reason, it wasn't letting me go from. Don't, don't, um, don't worry about it. Officially I mean, I, out loud. I'm literally like realizing how old I am, how I can't like operate this, this thing. Are we grandpa Instagram? Like, what is going on? Both I, like, of us. I, like, what I, are we doing? That had MySpace <laughs> is considered old for this, I think, you know? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, first How have you of all, been? I, I've been so good. It's so good to see you. You too. I'm it's so, been ages. It's been yeah, a really long time. It's been a very long time. Yeah. It's been, it's been a pandemic and, and, a, and a half, if yeah. not two. So I'm so <laughs> grateful that we have been reunited over this. And I just want to say to your fans, they're so wonderful. I was oh, reading I know, the chat right? the whole time that you were speaking and they're just so lovely and so devoted to you and they love you so Aww. much. And um, I'm so honored to be on this channel with you talking to you and, and all of your supporters because they're so wonderful. Oh, thanks. I mean, I, I think that's one of the things that's so exciting about this is that my fans get excited about the things that I get excited about, you know, and, yeah. and there's so many causes that are tied to this event. Um, my Feel Something Foundation has partnered with 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 um, uh, Pride Live and Out Loud, and we are going to make sure. Performers, we're also going to have a lot of information yeah. to share with people about all these amazing uh, charities and nonprofits and all the people that are involved and some special guests that are going to do some, some talking as well as singing. So I think it's going to be really fun. I'm just excited to be in a stadium. <laughs> I know in front of like real people. Yeah. Like what is that? It's so exciting. It's finally. <laughs> finally. And so I'm so excited. excited. It's pride. Like, yay. It's our, it's our month. I mean, if, if it isn't always, but you know what I mean? Like, we, yeah. we get, we get to like, it's, I feel like we're, we get to come out even more during pride. I get yeah. to put on an extra layer of glitter. <laughs> I don't know. What, I, can, I can do it whenever I want, but there's something about June that just makes me go that extra mile. And it's very exciting. And you, you've been involved with Stonewall Day in New York before, haven't yes. you? Yeah. Yeah. I was a Stonewall ambassador on their 50th uh, anniversary for World Pride. What a, what a wonderful thing that was. And I'm so grateful that the pandemic didn't, didn't affect that because um, it was so lovely to celebrate those that came before us in order to allow people like you and I to exist in the world yeah. like, like we do, you know, like allow yeah. us to be these wonderful balls of glitter and, and positivity <laughs> for the next generation it came from the last generation. And so it was really nice for me to be able to get to honor some, the, so many of them in one spot at one time um, and be a part of that conversation. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the things that I've noticed over the years is that one of the things I think is really important for our community is to remember where we came from, is to remember yeah. our history. I mean, when the AIDS crisis happened in the 80s, so many of our elders were taken away from the community. And so yeah. um, there's a little bit of a gap in there. I think for those of us that grew up in the 90s, <clears throat> um, it was, you know, <laughs> it, it's like we kind of were like flying by the seat of our pants. So it's amazing now to see like the, the, the progress that the community is making, to see how people mm. are, are finally like spreading this message of individuality and the mm -hmm. freedom to have any identity you want. And the fact that we're all celebrating it, I think yeah. is... So exciting, and it'll be amazing this weekend. I think yeah. that we have, we have an amazing bill of people that really represent everybody from the community. It's very diverse. Um, yeah, and I can't wait. I can't. Me I too. It's so much fun. It's and thank you for saying what you were saying about the music industry, too. Like, you, you are such a trailblazer, and you did Aww. that. But, like, it's so wonderful to see more and more people starting to be able to break through. I think mainstream pop still has a long way to go, honestly. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I think that we have so many more opportunities and you were the first, my friend. So I, I mean, one of the Aww. first. So uh, thank you to all the, and thank you for doing something like this, where you are bringing more um, artists to the front of this, the circle, you know, to the microphone. It's, ex it's ex there's, and the thing is, the there's, there's, there's room for everybody. That's what I love, you know. One hundred percent. Oh like, my and, god! And this bill, like the 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 curated set list, the 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 bill that that I helped put together for Sunday night is, uh, these are artists that I'm really excited about that I've been a fan of, many of whom are friends of mine. Um, I think I think 
not only do they represent different genres of music, but they're also representing different identities and they're all really talented. So I'm really yeah. excited to sort of share um, who, share, huh? who oh, I'm excited about Mel. with the audience. <laughs> and, and do you believe? What if that happened? What if just in the middle of the show, out of nowhere, not even, not even like you knew, but all of a sudden, like, she comes lowered in from, like, the sky from a helicopter. And she's like, do you believe in that? I think I would pass out. I think I would, I would be, like, just slayed, spent, you know. I know. Let's see. So now, wait, on Friday night, for the Friday night of the, the first night, yes. you're doing something special on stage. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes. Um, so I'm really excited because I'm going to have a, a talk with, with the host, which I think is super important um, and um, always fun. And then, you know, I'm going to be introducing um, our, I think it's maybe our first DJ set, which I'm so excited for. Amazing. Because I haven't been to a club, honey. I have not been on like anywhere. So I I'm going to dance on that stage <laughs> by myself in a corner. Like I am like raging at the Abbey. You know what I'm saying? And like, well, apparently oh, oh. The, the, the vaccinated <laughs> sections don't have to be socially distanced. So we can really like all dance. This I know. This is so exciting. This is what oh I've been God. told, but we're not discriminating against anybody that doesn't want to get the vaccine. It's up to you, I your am. choice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah, I was going to reserve my own judgment. I have my own thoughts about you, that too. You I'm go like, ahead, oh, honey. You give come the, on, the don't you want to get speech. poked twice? I'm like, I just, mean... just get vaccinated. I worked at a <laughs> vaccination site in the beginning of Did this you? thing. Just go do it. Just go you know, do it. It is yeah. so helpful to, to, to you know, cure, help stop the spread. It's so helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you Agreed. can give. You, you, Adam doesn't take an official position. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I have an official position. Get poked, um, damn it. Get poked, guys. Because uh, I don't want you spreading it back to me, honey. I don't want it. Oh, I'm, I'm just so, I think this is just going to be like such a, a good blast. weekend. And I, I know. can't wait to see you and hug you in yeah, person. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh my God. And anybody that's coming, um, please like pull out all the stops, get festive. We want to see some looks. I want to oh, see yeah. some, I want to see some loud outfits. Mm -hmm. Come on. Please. Glitter and glamour, please, all day long. Look at this. Zound, to zound the two, zaddy to the ground, yes. The two biggest glam rock fans on the planet are right here, so please give us something. <laughs> something. Listen, I'd, I'd give you more, but it's 10.30 in the morning, honey. You're lucky I found a hat. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm coming to you live from London. It is later in the day here. Hence oh, the next fabulous. little eye beat, you know? So there you go. <laughs> oh my God, someone said we should do a boy George duet together. Wouldn't that be so fun? That would be day? fun. I love, I saw, I had dinner oh with him once after. He's lovely. Oh, stop. He's, <laughs> he's amazing. I'm a man without your vision. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> Oh, I love we're going to have so much fun this weekend. It's going to be great. thank you for doing it again. Yeah. And, and for your foundation, too. I'm so glad that your foundation is partnering um, with, with Out Loud. And um, are you guys, do you guys have uh, similar mission statements? How do you guys, um, how does your foundation and Out Loud? Well, I mean, and... my, my foundation is sort of an infant in the game right now. Mm. We're just, we just kind of got up and running last year. And we've mm. been doing a lot of focus on partnering with, pre with, with existing foundations and nonprofits that are like, pretty powerful in the space mm -hmm. to try to just add to what they're already doing um, and support um, and build awareness. Um, we've done a couple things on our own. You know, we, we're, we're, we have things in the works. One of the things I was really excited about was partnering with the Rady Center in San Diego. Mm -hmm. um, and the Rady Center is affiliated with the San Diego Children's Hospital. And it's a, it's a center for gender affirming care. Mm 